Our next more sophisticated feature, the bitmap join. Go back to the data warehouse. If you've got a normal, a denormalized structure, a star schema, then the star transformation is what you want. But if you've got normalized data structures, your transaction processing environments, well, you ain't got a star there, you've got normalized data structures. And what I want to show here is that bitmap indexes can be of use in the OLTP systems as well. The concept of the bitmap join index. In a sense, you index a table on a column it doesn't have. Right. Yes, you can use it in a data warehouse, but it also works very well in normalized structures. You can use the bitmap join index to denormalize the snowflake for the purposes of the query, while it is still normalized data for your DML. So we don't have to deal with the inefficiencies of denormalization for DML, but we do get the benefits of denormalization for query. That's really what a bitmap join index does for you. In effect, it pre-computes the join, and that can eliminate the necessary to join at runtime. You've got that really efficient bitmap structure. Right, here's an example of what it looks like. Create bitmap index, emp to bidx, on emp d.dname. So I'm indexing emp on a column of depth. Note the syntax here. We're using what people sometimes call Oracle native syntax. This is one of the very few cases where ANSI join syntax is not yet supported. Now, the ANSI join doesn't work. Try it and you'll, you'll see the problems. So you have to use the old fashioned syntax. But what we're doing is indexing emp on a column of depth. Right. So what does that mean? Well, if I run a query such as select count star from amp natural join up to a dynamic culture search, Oracle is doing the join. So it's scanning depth, applying the filter to find the department number of the research department. It's using that to probe my depth I index on amp. Right. So what if that index didn't exist, then it would be even worse. If I drop index depth i, and get rid of job i while I'm about it as well, job i, then we should see something even worse. And we do. What we are now having to do is a merge join. Oracle's chosen a merge join, and the cost has gone up to six. So we've had to do it as a join, and we're applying filters quite late in the process. Now try it with that bitmap index there. The bitmap join index, because it's got the syntax of the join embedded within it. So create the index, create bitmap index on emp d.dname. Done. Try my query now. How cool is that? Cost has come down to one. And I haven't had to hit either table. That's quite phenomenal. I haven't had to hit either table to run that query. And this is not just meaning that the query is going to run well for me. It also means that all this workload, table access full, index full scan, and that will have been indirect into buffer cache. That will have been hammering the buffer cache with single block reads. That may well have been direct read. It's just incredibly efficient in comparison. Incredibly efficient. John, does the, the, yeah. does the bitmap joins uh, suffer the same DML limitations or issues, if you will? Yes, it does. You do have to bear in mind the possibility of locking. Um, the issue we've got here I don't know if I'll actually be able to demonstrate it, but I can try. Uh, the issue we've got is that normal locking uh, is done in the block headers. In the header of each block, you have interested transaction lists and so on and locking information. And you can state in the base of the block header says these rows are locks. That's straightforward. The problem we have with a bitmap index is that the bitmap index is only bits. It isn't really row aware. So you don't get row level locking. So if I do this, I may well have a problem with some DMLs. Let's see 
if I can actually generate the problem. In one row, I will, well, let's just select star from emp. Right, so there are my 14 rows. Set auto trace off. Right, I'll delete um, Mr. Smith at the top here, one row deleted. And in another session, we'll see if we can set up the problem. And what I'll do is delete, in this window, I'll delete Mr. Miller. Look at that, he's hanged. That's the problem with bitmap indexes. That's the issue. Why is that session hanged? The clue, my index is on job. Smith, his job is Clark. Miller, guess what his job is? Clark. It's a matter of luck. You might not hit this problem. You might not hit this problem. But because of the structure, through bad luck and the way the bitmaps are stored in blocks, you have to lock groups of rows at a time. Of course, if it's a huge table, there's a pretty good chance this won't happen. No, but it might. Once I roll back that or commit it, then the other session comes free. Right. So that's what you've got to hang on to. There may be issues with concurrent DML. Maintenance of bitmap indexes. Should we rebuild, coalesce? Uh, what's, your, what's your take? My take is that you never rebuild an index unless you have proven that you need to. And I take that approach for both B-tree and bitmap. The maintenance, um, it all depends what release you're on, of course, but this comes up again and again, doesn't it? Oracle has improved the algorithms for index maintenance hugely in recent releases. And the idea that you need frequent rebuilds, that is dreadfully 20th century. The business of navigating a normalized structure. Right. I'll go to the HR schema here connect HR slash HR. Remember how I described the snowflake? Each employee is in a department, department is in a location, location is in a country, and a country is in a region. Right. Consider a query that you might want to run in that environment. So here's my query. Select count star from employees where region name equals Europe. I want to see how many Europeans I employ. Well, to get from employees to Europe, I have to navigate that normalized structure. I have to go from employees to departments, from departments to locations, from locations to countries, from countries to regions. And only when I get down there can I apply the filter. And you see that in the execution plan. The filter, full scan of regions, is only four rows, and that's where we can apply the filter. And yes, I've got index access, but I've had to navigate that whole normalized structure to get there. And it's been costed at seven. Right. Bitmap join indexes, we can, in effect, denormalize it for the purposes of this query. So the syntax, it looks like this. Create bitmap index, emp regbix, on employees, R dot region name. And then we have the join conditions. So in my bitmap index creation statement, I'm navigating the normalized structure. So I'm indexing employees on a column from a table four levels out. Index. We'll see if Oracle is going to use it. It may refuse to. Drop the index. Let's create them again. We'll see if Oracle uses the index. It may not do so, but let's have a look. Well, Oracle hasn't used the index yet. We've got the same plan, it's on seven. There could be any number, which oh, is an adaptive plan. There could be any number of reasons for this. So I'm just going to put in a hint. So I've hinted, use that index. Bingo, look at that. So that horrendously complicated execution plan, costed at seven, navigating the full structure, is now reduced with this, costed at one. And I haven't actually had to hit 
any of the tables. That's phenomenal. 